Okay, welcome back to Sail Up. Today we're going to talk about something which is absolutely important, and that's not hitting things with your boat. We no one wants to hit anything, right? So we're at Southampton Boat Show. We've got David here. Nice to meet David. Hi, nice to meet you. David's going to tell us all about this forward scan system, which is basically designed to stop you hitting things, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So uh, this is the Echo Pilot forward looking sonar 3D. So you have two transducers through the hull of your boat, yeah. and they are basically taking a wide angle path. The really good thing about the Echo Pilot FLS 3D, it has the highest depth to range ratio of any forward looking sonar on the market. That's cool. So you've got 200 meters ahead, 100 meters deep. Okay, so That's it's really a deep. long way, yeah. long way. 20 times depth ratio, so whatever you're looking at depth wise, you get 20 times that ahead of you. Okay. So it's really, really high power. So you get this Pi image. Yeah. The great thing about the Ecopilot FLS 3D is it's now inter integrated within the Raymarine Axiom okay, so system. And that's purely with Raymarine themselves? That's with Raymarine. Any Axiom? Any Axiom display it will work with. Wow. The, it works for an app. So quite simply, you plug it into the Raynet of the boat ah, system right, and okay. it comes through the Raynet onto the Axiom display. Yeah, 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 From the yeah. Axiom display, it's an app. So there's an Echo Pilot app on there on the screen. You open that and you can operate it through that. Right, the okay. great thing that Axiom and Raymarine have done is that you can then zoom in and zoom out of the Pi no. and you can twist it around. So you can look at it, look at it from a different angle. So the Pi remains the same, but you can view it from yeah, a different side. Yeah, you can side. view it. You can view it around. Oh, right. Yeah. So you can literally see, like I can see a bump here. We could go and view that from the other yeah, side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You no can move way. your boat. You can move it all around. Yeah. So that's pretty good if you're in an anchorage and you're thinking about obviously. Yeah, where, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow. you, and with also with the Raymarine Axiom, it has a split screen functionality. It does, yeah. So you can look at, look at the Echo Pilot FLSD on 3D on one side, and on the other side, you can still look at your, Ray, your other Ray, Raymarine Axiom data that you've got. Okay, cool. See, yeah. With this system, can we plug into alarms yet or anything like that? It has a, it has a basically an alarm functionality with it, with it that will come through to the Axiom, so you will get, you will get that. Um, as you can see the color coding on the screen as yeah, well. That's really simple. So you're understanding what is what is a danger depth, yeah. as it were, and what is a safe depth as you're enter entering a harbor or, a, or an anchoring area. Yeah, yeah, really nice. And yeah. then I would say it's a super easy to follow system. I'm imagining you can have it so you're looking at the pie as well. Yes, as you go. So, so you see what's important and starboard yeah. as you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just go quickly over the bits you need to run this system. What about, so, so what have we got here then? So there's two options with the FLS 3D. You can run it integrated within the Ray Marine, yeah. which gives you that some added functionality, which is probably preferable. Yeah. Or you can run it as an independent unit with its own screen. Oh, so you don't need to run it through You SC. don't have to have ah, Ray Marine, cool. but you will have to have an independent screen if you're not using Ray Marine yeah. on okay. the Axiom, cool. okay? Um, so all you have is two transducers Were they two, through the hull. Two and a half inch transducers? Yeah. Two and a half inch transducers and you have your That's nice. and you have your through hull bronze through hull fitting that it goes through. Okay. So, so what I like about this straightaway boat builder looking at this of course, two O rings, not just one. Yeah. Really chunky as well. I mean they're eighth inch O rings at least. And Fantastic. The, the skin bronze. the skin fittings, the skin through hull fittings come in bronze aluminium oh. or stainless steel so whatever your construction of your boat you're going to have a skin fitting okay. to to work with okay so the aluminium ones are they you could weld them in place you could do yeah i mean well, cool. yeah if you want to if Fantastic. you want to yeah Got that there. and then from the transducer it's going into what they call a transducer interface and that's basically taking the data from the transducers and bringing it through yep. it then goes into a visual processor and that's basically creating the pie look of the data right okay and then onto the display or the axiom yeah, yeah. or the axiom unit itself and you've got a little thing here which i presume you don't need if you use the axiom but you yeah could so this is if you're using an independent screen this enables you to zoom in and zoom out and move it around a bit so you can look at it at different angles with the axiom this just becomes an on off switch and you control it all through the app on the axiom yeah. on the axiom screen so i guess the only thing i really need to ask you about is power consumption for the you know we're all trying to save on amps here and there how much does it use it's 12 volts so it just takes from the just takes from the boat it's not it's is not high current just, draw or anything no like not no not at all not at all okay I'll have to check that we'll button. find out what that is and we'll pop it in the link in the description as yeah. well so yeah. that'd be cool 
All right, so where do people find you? Where do we find out about EchoPilot? Okay, so we are Marine Components International and we are the global distributor for EchoPilot. Right. So contact us. We have a Facebook page and we have LinkedIn. There we go. Okay. Okay, Dave, thanks so much, mate. Thanks a lot, Chris. Cheers. Thanks, you. <laughs> no worries. Let's uh, try not to hit things, and I think this is fantastic. So we'll see you next time. Do like and subscribe to keep us ticking over and getting to these places to bring this stuff directly to you. We'll see you next time, guys.